Hippity plop news, it's time for some hot news. Let's talk about the fact that the RTX 3080 Ti is getting delayed, apparently, as well as the fact that CD Projekt Red admits that they just straight up ignored the consoles and Fortnite decides, hey, why don't we rip off Among Us? We'll get into that after we talk about today's video sponsor, ButcherBox. ButcherBox is the easiest way to get meat delivered straight to your door. It's perfectly packed and proportioned for your needs, as well as being committed to premium meat. You got 100% grass-fed and grass-finished beef, heritage breed pork, free-range organic chicken. This is how my family orders our meats. It gets shipped right to your door. You just unpack it, and then you can honestly save that box because it's amazing for shipping like cold stuff. It's great. Their goal is to make Make sure that high quality meat is available to as many people as possible and they could deliver you the best products for less than six dollars per meal best of all shipping's free but the best thing of all actually is that if you use our personal link that's in the video description between now and christmas eve on december 24th you'll get one pack of bacon in every butcher box shipment for life okay if you're a new customer with them you get free bacon for every order for the lifetime of your membership do you hear me free bacon using the link in the video description big thanks to butcher box for sponsoring today's video you know it's a giant sack of meat though just rumors in general so let's let's carve into it does that does that metaphor work anyways now there's some new information that the alleged rtx 3080 ti that was supposed to be debuting in january is actually being postponed by nvidia which sounds very familiar like the playbook that we heard about the rtx 3080 with 20 gigabytes of memory it was real and then it was delayed and then it was canceled. And now we're at the 3080 Ti, which is real, and now it's delayed, and are we gonna see cancellation? I don't know. According to the source, what we're seeing is that the 3080 Ti is gonna be slated to launch sometime in the second week of February, right after the Chinese New Year, and the RTX 3060 non-Ti is supposed to be jumping onto our plates in January. Whether or not any of this is real, it's really hard to say. It's not like it's impossible, but at the same time, like, I, I heard so much about a 3080 20 gig, and then it never happened, and now, like, I don't want to get my hopes up for a 3080 Ti that's cheaper than a 6900 XT. That's my anticipation. Nobody's ever said that, but I don't know, man. I just, I'm tired. I'm tired of things not happening the way that I need them to, which is why I'm so excited that NVIDIA is announcing for real the RTX A6000, my friends, for the low, low price of uh, $5,500. You can have this whack card with 48 gigabytes of GDDR6. I love it. At least it comes with the cooler and it doesn't rely on server cooling. So, you know, just 5,500 bucks. But what's also on sale is apparently Cooler Master is actually going to be selling their ML360 Sub-Zero, which uses thermoelectric cooling for $350 over on Amazon. We have an affiliate link down below in the video description in case you want to check that out. But the ML360 TEC is actually going on sale. Kind of neat. Now, let's talk about CD Projekt Red and the continuing woes of Cyberpunk because they said in a call, which you could actually listen to by checking out the link in the video description, it's roughly 50 minutes. Anyways, they said essentially that they ignored everything that they were hearing about <laughs> the additional time to refine the consoles. Uh, so that means that they knew about it and somebody in their company came to them and was like, hey, this is not working well. And they're like, you can fix it by launch. And they essentially said that they were more focused on launching than actually listening to any of their concerns, which is against their core values or whatever the quote was. So they're going to be fixing it allegedly. And that's, that's going to be happening. And that part of the reason this happened was because of COVID related issues with the fact that they didn't have many external testers, a lot of internal testing, but a decrease in the external testers that could actually validate all of the bugs that were we were seeing, which just playing through it for like five to 10 minutes, you're going to find bugs. So I'm not sure, like, did, were there internal testers using a completely different game than everybody else has in the real world? I don't know. Well, that's not the only thing that came out in that earnings call because in CD Projekt Red's admission that, hey, this isn't very good. They were like, if you got it on console, just go return it. And then, you know, just hopefully it's better. Well, they clarified what they mean by that because a lot of people interpret it as the fact that like, listen, we've worked it out. Just get a special refund because it's broken. The game is fundamentally broken on a PS4 and Xbox One. 
one. And really what they meant was get a refund if you can, because we haven't worked out a special deal and we're not going to. So uh, you should have thought about that before you played the game when you downloaded it. It's not our problem. But in case you want to fix a few more things on the PC side of things, sorry, consoles, you probably won't get any of these optimizations. There are new mods that are coming out every day. There is, uh, there's this one, the config overhaul, which gives you new presets that you can actually modify, such as disabling async compute, as well as the patch RAM pool optimizer, which apparently the RAM pool optimizer was set for consoles, which have at most 16 gigabytes of shared RAM, and then PCs can have a lot more than that. So if you have more than 16 gigabytes of VRAM and regular RAM combined, you know, just maybe, maybe consider trying this one out. Dirty console gaming peasants! And you can try out a lot more games because Epic Game Store is going to be doing 15 days of free games this December, starting on December 17th, actually starting right now because Tyranny Pillars of Eternity are free right now. And they're just going to be they're going to be giving away free stuff for the, the rest of December ish. While we're on the topic of Epic Games, they've also apparently brought some implementations into Fortnite known as performance mode, which is significantly lifting performance on lower end hardware, which they say does this by lowering in-game visual quality, which wouldn't the like settings do that? How is this different? Well, according to their own numbers, it actually does make a huge difference. Like if you're on an A10 5745M laptop with an HD 8610G, you've got 18 FPS before at 720p low, and now you get 45. And then uh, you can see here on the UHD 620, you can get over 60, which is odd that, I mean, it's good, but I, okay. But it's very clear that uh, Fortnite's trying to do this to get so many people to come and play their game. And in fact, they're doing that by ripping off a game mode that everybody loves in Among Us. It's called the Spy Within, where you fake being a spy and then you have to suss out what's going on with the situation and who's doing that. Which I do have to say, suss out, like sus was a word. It's a real word. It's not just the shortened form of suspicious. But now in Among Us, we use it as to say you're being suspicious but you could also say I'm sussing out the imposter and I don't know, words are sus. But it's uh, also very clear that they're trying to get people to rejoin because they have a reboot a friend activity that's going on where if you invite your friends back, you get rewards. Get your people back to Fortnite. Everybody jumps ship and uh, because they're playing Among Us on the Nintendo Switch, which launched yesterday after it was announced, immediately available. So nice Among Us on the Nintendo Switch, which the Stadia was not immediately available because it went down in its first major outage, apparently in the parts of Europe, not in the US. This is not connected with the giant Google outage that happened just a couple of days ago. This is just a separate thing. Stadia finally experiencing crashing. Now we just wait for the like ultimate crash of death. And your hopes to play EA games on Xbox Game Pass PC have been crashed a little bit because it turns out that while it was supposed to launch yesterday, you know, yesterday it was supposed to come out. Then when it was supposed to launch, they were like, we're delaying it till next year. Just um, well, it's not ready. And we're just thinking to tell you now that would have been amazing if Seed Project Red got up to the April launch date of Cyberpunk. And it was like November. Bruh. What's ridiculously cool is Japan Space Agency is showing off samples from the asteroid Ryugu. Look at that asteroid. They also confirmed that they got asteroid gas. They, they, they have asteroid gas in a container. Ass gas, as it were. I'm unfortunately proud for that one. And I'm not gonna be any more proud by staying here and taking up more of your time. So that's gonna be the end of this episode of Hot News. Let me know what you think of the tech news down below in the comments. And while you're down there, scroll up just a little bit and go to the description where today's video sponsor is linked. And you should be tempted to pick up Butcher Box, who's the sponsor of today's episode of Hot News. You get free bacon for the lifetime of your membership. And it's just convenient. This is how we get meat here at my household. We just place our order, it comes in in a frozen box. We don't even have to worry about putting it away immediately because it's stays frozen even if we forget it outside for an entire day we didn't do that i promise you but it stays frozen because they ship it in a really nice insulated cooler anyways check the link in the video description get some free bacon and that's it hit the like button get subscribed all of that good stuff i'm brett with hot news hope you have a good day bye
because pillars of eternity, tyranny and tyranny, pillars of eternity, tyranny and tyranny, pillars of pillars of eternity, tyranny and tyranny, pillars of eternity are free right now. 